All right. Uh, recently, actually, student asked me about this permutation question, so I decided to make a short tutorial and to actually like teach these two question. And two of these question basically is for the permutation. Yeah. So let's have a look on the question itself. So for the first one, this one, the question actually asks you to find a number of way to form three digits number, which is greater than three hundred fifty, and using the digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 without repetition. Right, obviously we know from the question the keyword is 350. That means right now you have to form three digits number and using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, using six of this number. Right, so the first thing is, okay, in order to, to make this number uh, greater than 350, so you have some condition. So first, I actually will divide it into a two case, I think. The first one, I will assume my first digit is 4, 5, and 6. Okay, because this one, when my first digit is 4, 5, and 6, uh, these three digits definitely is bigger than 350. So, if my, first, if my first digit is 4, 5, or 6, then the other two digits over here, yeah, it's just, if let's say I choose the first uh, 4 for the first place, so that means after I use 4, I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means from second over here, uh, 2 number over here, I just like 5 number, I choose 2. And for, for the first position, I mean the first place here, I can use 4, 5, and 6, isn't it? That means it's 3 number from here, I will choose 1 to put at the first place. So then I will multiply uh, 5p2. Okay. okay, this is the case one. And then I will do the case two. Your case two is a bit special because if if I put the first digit as a three, so so because I want to make sure it's actually without repetition. So for case one, I will use four, five, six at the, uh, for my first place. But for the second case, I will use three only for my first places because if I use three, I cannot use one, two, three, four in my second place. If I use one, two, three, four here, my number is definitely is less than 350. So that means the second place here, I can only use five and six in order to make it like bigger than, in order to make it actually uh, bigger than 350. All right, and then the last place I can use any number for one, two, three, I cannot use three because if I use three as the last number, actually I'm repeating. So it's one, two, four, five and six right so over here three is only one way so it's just one p1 one number i choose one for second place is two number i choose one to put at the second place and the last place is one two three four five five of this number i actually no i can't do like this because if i do like this i might accidentally repeat the number five and number six so in order to make it will not repeat, I actually will separate again. I assume this is 3, 5, and the last number I do not know, and this is 3, 6, and the last number I do not know, because I just want to make sure it won't repeat. All right, 3 and 5 this is one way and one way, because I, I only choose 3 and only choose 5. And then if I choose 3, 5, I still have 1, 2, 3 cannot, 4, 5 cannot, 6. For here, if I choose 3 and 6, here can be 1, 2, 3 cannot, 4 can, 5 can, 6 cannot. So from here is 4 number, I choose 1. This one also 4 number, I choose 1. So if I select 3 and select 5, it's just 1, multiply 1, multiply this one. Same to this one, it's just 1, multiply 1, multiply this one. Then 4P1 is just 4. 4P1 is just 4. So you have to plus them together, definitely. All right, then over here, you will get 4, 4, and then you have to plus with this one. Okay, so if for this one, I actually, yeah, I, yeah, you can use a calculator to actually get this one. Just wait for a moment, I'm going to get my calculator. Yeah, you just use the calculator because it starts with a 4, you have no issue. So this one is just 5, P2. Multiply 3p1. Then you, here, actually, you will get 60. And then from here, you will get 4 and 4, isn't it? 
So both is 4 plus 60. Is, so your answer will be 60 plus 4 plus 4. It will be 68 way to form this question. Okay, because for the case 2 is a bit spatial, because for the case 2, basically you have the specific number for specific position. So basically, I, I want to make sure it's always without repetition. So this is how I will do. Basically, I will separate them because they must start with 3 and 5 it, at, at the second place. But then in the first case here, who need the, who need the first position, actually you have some condition. The other two you can randomly from the five of the number, you choose any two number for the last uh, for the last two places here. Right, so yeah, before I end this video, I'm going to show you an, uh, another example. Let's have a look on this example. Okay, so for this example, the question says six letter words uh, from the word universal. So universal, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine letter here. Basically, you will need to choose the six letter. Okay, so first, if okay, when when the question say if A and B is two different question, they have no letter. All right, if the first letter is U and the last letter is L, that mean I want to form the okay for A, I want to form the six letter one two three four five six. My first letter must start with U and last letter must must be L. When, when the question tells you first letter is U, so there's only one way to select U because you only have one U from here. The last letter is L and you only have one L here. Okay, and then after you cancel U and L, you just now you have nine letter, right? After you cancel U and L, which you already used, so you still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You still have seven. And then how many place you have here? One, two, three, four. So seven. I will P4. That means from the seven letter there, I will randomly choose four letter to actually put on the place over here. Okay, so then you just use the calculator. You can easily get the correct answer. Seven P4. The calculator will tell you there's 840 ways. Okay, this is how you solve A. If go to B, the question say is if is N with the consonant. So of course you have to understand what is the meaning for consonant. Consonant means not the vowel. Consonant means not a e i o u. Okay, means not a e i o u because a e i o u we call vowel. Means consonant is the other side of vowel, right? So not a e i o u. So let's see if I want to form the six letter code, how many consonant I have. Not A U I U. I have U. I have N. I have V. I have R. I have S, and I have L. All of this is called consonant, <laughs> right? So because it, the question says must end with consonant, means the last places must be consonant. So from the five consonant here, I'm going to choose one to put at the last place. So this one we're going to call it five P one. All right. Then after I choose one, really, I still have five empty places here then I can randomly choose from the rest. Okay, let's say I choose V over here. You assume the V already used. You assume the V already used. You still have eight letter, correct or not? So from here, I have eight letter. I'm going to choose for the five places here, which is 8P5. And then I will multiply with this one. That's why I use 8P5, multiply with 5P1. Then I can use calculator to solve this one. 8P5 multiple 5P1. So yeah, number is quite big. Basically, your final answer will be three three six zero zero. All right. So yeah, this is how we solve this kind of permutation question. So I hope after you watch this video, you can roughly understand about this kind of uh, questions. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching.